a very merry cricket was a bit of a disappointment. I do have to say that I'm coming from coming at this with no prior knowledge of these characters. The characters in question are Harry and Tucker and Chester the Cricket, and they appear in other cartoons. I, I'm not aware of them. I haven't seen them in anything else. So maybe if I was more familiar with them and had you know other journeys of theirs to call upon, I might have a different experience with this. But just watching it for the first time with no prior knowledge of these characters, I have to say it was kind of rubbish. This was released originally in 1973, directed by Chuck Jones, written by Chuck Jones and George Seldon, with voices provided by Les Tremaine and Mel Blanc. And it's about this cat and mouse who are fed up with people's negative opinions and negative antisocial attitudes. And they feel like people have forgotten what Christmas is. So they go on this journey to find Chester the Cricket, who, who they believe um, has the ability through music to revive people's Christmas spirit. And that sounded interesting. I thought, okay, a festive story. It's going to be really fun. I'd say the last five minutes were festive and that's it. The whole thing's just under 30 minutes. And I think maybe just over five minutes felt festive. And it just was such a disappointment. It took so long to get anywhere. I'd say it took over half of the film for them to actually get to this cricket. The pacing was deplorable. And there was so little Christmas magic in this. Obviously, there trying to achieve that but to have a Christmas film that has next to no Christmas in it just feels really flat really boring it didn't excite me the only thing I can praise is the animation the quality of the animation is beautiful I love how the mouse is animated I love the design of the cat the cricket is fine I'm not that bothered about the cricket but I will say the quality of the animation is very good and the concept is quite interesting but the pacing of the narrative is horrendous Nothing happens. It's very dull. And when the Christmas element does kick in, I'd lost so much faith in this that I just, I, I, I stopped caring. So I'm really genuinely disappointed by this. But as I said, maybe if I'd seen the characters in other cartoons, it might be a different experience. I am willing to admit that maybe you need to have, you know, experience with the other characters to be able to get some, some things out of this. I don't know, maybe there were references in it that I would have only like, picked up on uh, had I seen them in other tales. But at the same time, the film should be able to stand on its own. So I, I really expected better. I expected better from Chuck Jones. Yes, the quality of the animation is really nice. And that meant that it wasn't completely unwatchable. But beyond that, it's just tremendously disappointing.